guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Pagazi William and as you can hear it's raining literally this side of the world the weather is not looking good at all but I want to say I'm starting a series but I don't know if I'll keep up with it or like we'll keep up with it whatever but basically um, last week if not the week before my girlfriend basically booked like a, a yacht trip for me and dinner well lunch and all these things i didn't know until the day and so she's just started doing that like every week and so today is no exception i'm going to go to archery is that how you even say it i don't know i have never done it before i i think i'm scared but I don't know I'm just like going with the flow like I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the footage from the yacht trip so literally that one is more of a date um, I was on the yacht on video call with her funny enough um, we didn't lose a lot of signal and I was out at sea but we made that work and then went to the restaurant and all those things and with this one I do believe I can't have like things on me and stuff like that so not sure that like she'll be there but i will have or try to take videos i honestly don't know how it's gonna work i don't even know if i'm just like shooting at a board or things or whatever but i will try and get the footage for you guys okay, so i try my best to find a place that could show most of the outfit so this is what the outfit looks like the top itself is from sheen which i bought like a three pack it's actually a what do you call it like when it goes under <laughs> oh my gosh okay I, have, I feel like i haven't done this in so long that i've even forgotten how to speak like okay um i don't know also why i am so shy anyway and then these jeans are from mr price but i did bring them in at the waist so that they can you know be a little bit more form-fitting and then shoes are my fillers the ones that everyone used to hate back in the day you probably still do um but yeah that's what i'm going to be wearing i'm not sure about the jacket yet um i know that in somerset west today it's gonna be i wouldn't say sunny but it's not gonna be like raining like the side so yeah so i don't know if i'm gonna need it but this is the fit the look and then also what i wanted to let you guys know is that like bring you closer <laughs> is when i get back i want to do like a little i don't know just a little just a little chit chat you know just a little sit down chit chat moment with you guys about like where i've been more or less and just what do i see for the channel i know a lot of people like have been asking me on tiktok when are you coming back to youtube and all these things because i do post tiktoks if you didn't know um because it's just a lot easier and it's quicker and you know it's just in the moment but yeah i am planning on just doing a little catch up but for now let me just do my face get ready get going and i'll see you guys at the archery place <laughs> Yo Yo that's a just finished archery which you guys just saw which was pretty amazing um i got a certificate and i got 84 which apparently is super high for someone who is a beginner and then um yeah the instructor was amazing he was so cool and also the fact that i got like a one-on-one -on -one session which is um like they don't do that usually it's like two minimum and i got a one-on-one -on -one session so that was pretty awesome so i got to shoot a lot more 
I didn't think I would enjoy it because I was like shaking at first. Oh. I was like shaking at first and um, I was scared that I was just going to be like, this is just, sorry, there's like a hair in the lens. Okay, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is going to be too much for me. Like, I'm not going to enjoy this. I'm, there's no way like I can do this because I was literally like shaking the whole time. Every time I had to pull and all these things. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just like, oh my gosh. I did that and I had so much fun. Literally by the end, I didn't want to stop. When we came back, I didn't want to stop. I was just like, oh my gosh, this is this is it. I think I found a new hobby. The only thing is that it's so far away from like where I stay. So that's the only thing. But um, he suggested that I find ice cream somewhere here. And I am sweating and I am hot. So I'm going to do that. The only thing is like this area. <sighs> I don't like being in this area. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna find the ice cream shop. Should I? I'm trying to think. Cause I need to. I do need to get going. I need to get home. I said I'd be, I'd be gone for only like two, three hours. It's been four, almost. Yeah, yeah, almost four hours. Okay, I'm gonna have to come get the ice cream another time. I'm so sorry. To it. If you see this. I'm sorry, but yeah, I need to get driving because it's probably going to take an hour and I want to beat traffic. Um, yeah, it's probably going to take two hours at this point, actually. I'm not so sure. But yeah, that was a fun activity, 100%. I'm back home and I've got a warm cup of coffee with me. Um, I don't know why I keep looking out the window. Like, I had to... I had to retouch my edges because, um, I mean, I didn't do anything, just laid them down because I did sweat them out. Um, I realized when I got home, but, um, yeah. So I said that I would have like a little catch up because it's basically been, oh my gosh, it's been so long since I have like recorded vlog content in like, real time basically and posted it in real time because the vlogs that you guys have been seeing have been from last year but I really wanted to get like the content out because I did put time and effort into making them um and I just always wanted you guys to see them so I was just like you know what I am going to post them and so yeah but then I was like okay at the same time I'm going to plan out what I need to do going forward so yeah what have i been doing working if you watch my tiktok i feel like you pretty much know you know i do like the office tiktoks and things like that but i'm trying to not really do that so much um and i have just been doing the things that i do you know every day and stuff like that um i haven't really been i wouldn't say like focusing but like i haven't really had content that I'm just like oh I feel inspired to do this but I also haven't really had time because the hours that I've worked are insane like crazy like 27 hour days so yeah um that just is not like this just was not space in my life um and I just had to actively choose if you are my TikTok like you'll know that like I was in hospital earlier this year as well so there's just been a lot that's gone on i would just suggest that you go there to like kind of catch up because i feel like as the months have gone by that i was not on youtube i was posting a lot there and you could just see like what i was doing daily not to say that i had moved over to tiktok or i decided that that's like where i want to just have my platform on like social media platform but it's just a lot easier to like kind of grab your phone in the moment and record like a lot of the times it was just like clips that i already recorded of me doing things like with my friends or you know whatever we were doing and then it was just easy for me to quickly edit it and put it up on tiktok or decide to do something in the moment and just make a tiktok out of whatever i decided to do in the moment or if I just did my nails or something like it was literally spontaneous in the moment little just snippets of my life even if they were like vlog style sometimes um 
I had ones where it's like me in the car. I would just be recording, like listening to music. And then I would have clips just throughout my day just because like I just like to record things. And then I would, even sometimes I would decide like a month later, oh, you know what, let me just post like all those videos that I took from this one day or all the videos I took on this other day. Others, yes, they were a bit more like, okay, they feel a bit more curated, especially around Valentine's Day. I really want to record that. Um, <laughs> I really want to record just me getting my gift together for like my girlfriend and everything. I wasn't really planning on doing content with the footage, but then I was like, you know what? I feel like the footage, I've shot it like nicely enough or well enough for me to actually make some TikTok. I have some TikToks out of it or like short form content out of it. So yeah, that is basically what I've been doing. It's not like a, oh this I don't know why the camera stopped. But like yeah, I was saying it's not like a this is where I am, this is like the choice that I'm making. But going forward I do want to do a lot more content. I this blue pillow. I I missed the white pillow that was here. Um I I have consciously decided that you know what i need to just put some love back into my youtube channel you guys have <laughs> like even when i go live on tiktok you guys are just like we miss you on the red app which is really nice to hear but i just felt like youtube has evolved so much like people are making content that is really really high quality really good quality and i just didn't want to like half ask it for lack of a better word um and so i was just like i there's like a level that i want my content to be on that i feel like i'm not achieving and i don't have the time to well i'm not i'm not carving out the time rather to achieve the type of content that i want to achieve and the look and the feel um i still want to do like lifestyle vlogs and things that are very chilled and laid back i'm not trying to do anything crazy but I just wanted to be content that like I'm like oh that's that looks really really good like that looks amazing that was well shot a big problem that I was also having um was that I don't know how but like I retreated you know how like before I would have my camera out in malls and wouldn't care for some reason like I just started feeling I think it's also because of Cape Town um and like doing a lot of things alone um in terms of like going to restaurants and stuff like that yes sometimes i'd have my friends um yes sometimes i'd have my friends or my sister and things like that but like for the most part i wasn't really like with anyone who creates content which makes it so different if you guys have seen like my channel or even just like me making content when i'm around other people who make content like i'm free i'm um, I've got snaps, I've got TikToks, I've got Instagram posts, I've got, you know, reels, I've got um, vlogs and all these things, which is just so much more comfortable and it's so much easier. Whereas if it's just me and I'm like trying to curate all this content and things and then I'm including people who aren't necessarily content creators and also try to make sure that they are comfortable in, you know, the setting and the space and whatnot, um, it's just it's not it's not very easy and so i just retreated and half the time i wouldn't take my camera which is like such a good camera so like the quality is amazing and everything but then i end up filming half the vlog on my phone which is not bad because like you know it, it falls in 4k but it's like a different 4k feel from the camera and it just would irritate me because i'd be like ugh, but now we've got like these two different sort of lightings or rather color um settings and all these just things that would bug me about the content and i was just like you know what i i'm not doing it right the way that i, I want to do it and so let me not do it and a lot of people say that i'm a perfectionist and i'm like hard on myself and things. i don't know maybe but i just i started thinking about all those little things and they just started being like thing factors that i was like um yeah, no, I maybe need to just hold off and find myself. It's the same thing with Instagram. Like, I'm just like, I personally Instagram posts, I'm not a fan of anymore. They just don't hit. 
Um, I think there's like a certain aesthetic that is preferred on Instagram and I am not sure that I have want to <laughs> I'm not sure I want to fight myself into fitting into that aesthetic and a lot of it is kind of like how do I put it kind of like showing off culture or looking money looking like you're going to many places all the time and all these things and I know most people would be like oh you do go to fancy places and stuff like that but like sometimes I go to fancy places but I'm not trying to take the most well lit picture that looks like it was taken on digital camera and all these things and I feel like that is the Instagram vibe and I'm not fitting into that hence I've been so comfortable and have been able to do TikTok so easily because I don't have to fit into any narrative. Although like yes, those videos probably do better on TikTok, but like it's not um a must for people to enjoy your, t your content on TikTok or to engage with your content and things like that. And I have a lot there's a lot less pressure. I just have fun with with TikTok in general. So yeah, so Instagram I just felt like it was a space that was not serving me and I also was not really feeling like oh this is the content that I want to consume anyway like to begin with like just scrolling through um like what what is that page the, the like page where you find people that you don't follow <laughs> that one the one where you, you go to search yeah I haven't been on Instagram in a very long time um I haven't been on Instagram since last year and we're literally like over halfway through the year so that says a lot um but yeah like i just was like i'm not feeling inspired i'm also not feeling like i'm good enough in a sense i think there was also that i was just like mm, uh i'm not giving like this ultra luxe feel and you know life and i don't know maybe it's just like comparison that's like a really bad thing but i just felt like I definitely cannot live up to this, one, my pocket cannot live up to this, but two, I just also don't feel like I want to live up to this. And I think things like therapy, you speak about stuff like this all the time, and so you get to realize what it is that serves you and what makes you feel good and what doesn't make you feel good, what, what feels forced and what feels natural. And so with that, I have I've had to over the years as well just be honest with myself and be like am I just doing this to fit in with what the South African lifestyle or the, rather the typical South African lifestyle um content creator looks like is doing is getting numbers and it's like if it's getting numbers it must work or do I just want to carry on doing what I do which is just very different very raw very honest and a little rough around the edges i'll definitely say um and so yeah i've just had to basically juggle all of that and try to understand all of that and then decide how am i going to move forward and so this is us moving forward <laughs> i once i've figured it out but i at least know the two platforms that i definitely want to be on and enjoy being on are youtube and tiktok the rest i will for now they can miss me unless i do get comfortable on them which i doubt i will i will not be really partaking in i don't see myself going back to post on instagram if you guys don't know like my sister's been off instagram for two three yeah about three or four years now um and I feel like I'm actually at that point because I really do withdraw myself from Instagram quite a lot. I found that that's something that I tend to do and I feel a lot better and I feel good and like the content that I consume it like on other platforms I'm happy with. And so yeah, for now I really don't see myself on Instagram. Like I'll leave my profile there to be seen I suppose um, and stuff like that but I don't know if I see myself actually returning full-time yet or even let's say this year so yeah youtube i as you can see i have returned i am back i'm going to making content and 
I'm putting in time and effort. I won't lie though, a big chunk of the content and a big reason that I've been able to do a lot of this content is because of my girlfriend. She literally books activities for me to do and then I don't find out what the activity is until like the day of or the day before if like I need to get dressed up or something. But for the most part, she does not tell me until like, like right at the end so that I don't get anxious about it because that's also something that like I have felt is just that I have anxiety. I agree to things and then on the day, I'm just like, I don't want to wanna get out of bed, you know? So she's found a way to make it really fun for me to go out and explore as well and things like that. So yeah. She quite literally inspired me to be like, okay, let me just do a series on the fact that you literally send me around <laughs> Cape Town like every week, you know, there's just something new that she's, you're making me do, not making me do, but like you, you've booked a different activity for me or you've got like a surprise for me and all these things. And it started, we were literally just joking on the phone and I was like, oh my gosh, it would make such a cool vlog series if I was like, where's my girlfriend sending me today or something like that. And yeah so <laughs> that's also like a big push that i got so thank you and shout out to her and then another push was obviously every time i went live on tiktok you guys asking about me or even commenting on tiktok and i'd be like like it's not that i don't want to be on youtube it's just that i feel like i don't know what it is that i could be doing on youtube that is fun as well because i also just don't want to give you guys vlogs of me just doing things and like plate it and try and make it like a weekly vlog or something i don't know like try and put time to it or like a weekend vlog or something and you know and that's just it like you're just watching me do not nothing but like just go and do like everyday normal things like go to a restaurant go to like all the go do all the things that kind of you know are things that i've done before on my channel in cape town um I just didn't want to do that and I know that one of the well one of my most favorite videos or some I know that some of my most favorite videos are the ones where I'm doing activities which is so funny because they don't do as well but I suppose it's because it's like just the activity um but when like I've gone kayaking when I hike lion's head uh, and cliff neck like all those different kinds of videos where I was being active being outside doing fun things yes i also do like the restaurant ones and you know just doing like fancy dinners and stuff like that i do like those as well but the ones that i truly truly enjoy are the ones where i'm outside and i'm doing like adventurous things i want to say i'm the most adventurous person but i really just enjoy making that content because i feel like it's so fun to watch it makes you um well at least for me it just makes me experience cape town as if i'm a tourist without having to leave and it's just something that I feel like yes I should take advantage of that if I can because Cape Town is a very expensive place and so many people from other countries come here and they enjoy it so so much and you watch the vlogs and it's like oh you know like oh my gosh that's so cool but then it's like you watching someone who's not South African in South Africa and that person it's like showcasing South Africa so then everyone is just like oh my gosh that's so cool and i'm just like but like we can also try and experience it for ourselves and that has been my thing because back in 2016 i used to watch the wolves and they used to come to south africa and i think they still do they used to come to south africa every single december spend the entire month here well cape town mostly spend the entire month here sometimes they'll go out into like you know your nizers or george sometimes they'll go to madagascar for like a couple of days and things like that but for the most part they'll just get like this huge house in like camps bay or bantry bay and they're like hiking lion's head and they're just doing all these things in cape town that i'm like they're right there some of them are free literally like the hikes and things like that free the beach is free yes getting there <laughs> costly because they're far and there are some activities in cape town that are like affordable and not as expensive the only problem with cape town is that everything is really feels quite far <laughs> away from each other so that's that's the big issue but other than that i literally i remember being in Joburg watching them and being like oh my gosh when i'm in cape town this is what like i want to do i want to be 
exploring it. I want to live by the whole notion of I live where people vacation and all of that. And so, yeah, I want to gear my content towards that as well. I also want to still stay lifestyle, still have some beauty elements, some get ready with me, but in the vlogs. I think I will primarily do vlogs. I don't know if I'll really do sit down videos and chit chats and stuff like that because I feel like we've just moved on from long form like that and you just gotta kind of get with the times. Like there's a higher probability of them watching it on TikTok than on YouTube. So also things like that need to be taken into consideration. Like, you know, you've got to be practical about, you know, you've got to be practical about um, what content is looking like and how to move forward and things like that. And so, yeah, so it's going to, be between, going to be between the short form and the long form vlogs that I'm going to be doing here. I will try my best to do YouTube shorts, but I don't even ever watch them. So I don't know how people engage with them all that much. Like, I've seen other people's shorts, but, like, I don't know how people would engage with my shorts. Um, and then TikTok is definitely where you'll find me. And, yeah, so that is basically my update. I wanted to, I wanted to just... Just have a, a little chat chat, you know. Um, you guys know I love to talk. <laughs> and it's been a while since I've sat down and spoken to you guys like this. So I really wanted to do this. And yeah, we will carry on with the vlog tomorrow. I am probably now either going to get some food or I'm going to sleep. Because I am quite tired. It was such a fun day. And yeah, I am... I am exhausted so I need to rest at this point and just chill a little bit and then we shall pick it all up tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, it is the next day. I literally have oh, 13 minutes. Yeah. I have 13 minutes to do my braid and do my makeup. <laughs> um I think I'm gonna start with my face. Loki high key. But let me put on some lip gloss so I'm not trapped. Okay, so I wanted to do a mini tutorial slash vlog of me doing my makeup today. But it's gonna be so rushed. So let's see if I can get ready in 13 minutes. I'm wearing this jersey right now because I haven't figured out which dress I want to wear underneath. Um, I don't even know if this jersey is gonna work with the dresses. I wanted to do the little Scaparelli inspired um, look that I did a couple months ago for my three month anniversary uh, three month anniversary um but i don't know if i want to like repeat the look because i made tiktoks in it and all these things and i'm just like i mean i could put the look together as just like oh let's see how i put this look together but then to actually wear it now i don't have time to like oh let's put the look together but to actually wear it, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure. It's not that I don't want to repeat of it. I'd love to repeat that look. Oh my gosh. I just. I would love to, if I got the chance. But I just don't know what the vibe is going to be. But I'll show you the two dress options, and I'll also show you the heel options because heel options kind of go with the dresses or like don't go with the dresses like I'll see once I put on or pick a dress if it all works and I might want to do like my long white coat with all of this if anyone's ever wondering how I put my outfits together this is it like I think about all the pieces that I have the kind of looks that I want to do of course I go on Pinterest um I would say Miss Lori Harvey is usually my go-to look person because she goes from street styles like chilled to classy but she always makes it all look very feminine in a way and I like that I as you guys know I'm a super girly girl and I like to dress super feminine one thing about me my Estee Lauder has never been a foundation in my life but it does make for great under eye cleanup concealer I've never used it as foundation in my life because I mean it was not great for me but for the most part it's like <clears throat> excuse me for the most part it's like I just want to really cover my dark eyes and my spots but then does it end up looking like a full face yes but it's literally just concealer like that's what it is 
also yes I do put my contour color for underneath my eyes so that they don't look all the way too brightened so they can somewhat match my skin and I just try to put it also around wherever I put a lot of concealer just to balance it out lately I've been loving like taking my nose contour all the way up like Uche um, like back in the day she used to do this I tried and it just didn't work out for me but I think now that I've practiced it it just it does make sense anything she does make sense and then yeah I'm gonna go ahead and blend this and then we come back to you guys when I'm actually done with my face and starting my hair <laughs> okay so I've just tied up my hair I'm gonna set it yes I use a do-rag because honestly it works the silk works and it's just a lot easier and I don't I don't have anything else really but I just found that it does make sense to use a drag but this is just for me to set my hair while I do the braid I am also two minutes past the time but I don't know might be fetched anytime soon I'm gonna start with okay so I just take braiding hair I'm usually using some hair from yesterday and I tie it as if I'm tying a ponytail like I tie it onto my hair I don't mind my hair right now she needs to be washed. It's all like curly underneath. Um, because when I blow dried it, I didn't need to dry completely. One. Three. And then I'm going to take my hair and break that up into three to match. So that I can start the braiding process. This is when I'm going to start adding hair again. Oh gosh. Like I said, I'm going to be using hair, so the hair is crazy, and then it creates this imperfect braid that almost looks like it wants to be a boho braid, but it's not, or some sort of goddess braid, it's not, it's just the fact that the hair is curly already because I've braided it before taking, luckily for me, I did this last night, it's like I knew, it's like I knew I would oversleep. Anyway, I'm going to quickly do this and I'm going to show you guys the outfit. See how nice it is when your hair's already sectioned out. Someone please tell the braiders. I don't want it to be too thick because yesterday like the ratio of the starting to this was a little too much. And then, and then now, so I'm going to fly out every time I... Like, what? Okay, let me show you the first one. This one. It's okay, this is the last one. And then, taking the braid down. See, now it's a little thicker. Because yesterday by here, it was like starting to get too thin. But do you see what happens when you use like, hair that you've already used? It makes these little bubbles. Unless you brush it out, which I haven't done that. Because I'm too lazy to do that. Okay, so my two options so far are this, um, are the satin dress and this dress. This one, I believe, is from Mr. Price, if not the fix. And then this one is from Cotton On. Um, I decided against wearing the skirt underneath. I know it would be cool, but like, I've done that look before. So I'm just going to go with a black dress with pantyhose that I literally got from Pip because affordable and they're really good quality and they're like 19 rand I think I'm not sure um and then I'm gonna wear this top which I got last week for last week's adventure with my girlfriend but today I'm going with a friend um you guys are safe but I don't know if they'll be on camera <laughs> arrived at Kanto, I think it's called. I'm, I'm literally reading it from the doors. Um, we have arrived at Kanto. It's like a boutique wine tasting place or whatever. It's really cool vibes. I am going to vlog in montage form from here on out because I don't know where the wine might take me and I don't know how many tastings we're doing. So yeah, but I will give you guys just different angles and things like that. Okay. <laughs> It was like 
the chairs. But the only reason they started touching glasses is because they were trying to prove that they didn't poison it, so they would like cling so that it would fall into the other. It was beer. I don't know, but I know that's like, why they have it. Because you have to hit it. Yes, that you have to hit it hard to they split over. So that's where the, the whole chairs thing came from to show that like nothing's been, yeah. yeah. So that's where it all, but technically, shouldn't be. Oh, can we taste? Oh, you wanna run down? I want. I can just run down, maybe. Yeah. We can go through it again. Okay. Yeah. Anything? <laughs> no, it's okay. Thank you very much. This is Sauvignon Blanc. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Sauvignon. Yeah. Damn. Am I getting good at knowing my wines? You might be. You might be. <laughs> what notes are you picking up? Hey. Do you have a pear or apricot? What? Do you just go for pear because you know they usually mention pear? No, I actually taste pear. Because I hate pears. Yeah, it's pretty Guys, how beautiful is this view? Like, oh my gosh, it is amazing. But we have just finished taking pictures. Funny enough, this is like the bathroom right there. We use this wall. If you guys, <laughs> if you guys would know who I'm with, OG on this channel literally knows how to get my pictures, how to get my angles, literally everything me because. <laughs> We've, we've been doing these photo shoots for years, years and years and years. My channel, my Instagram, we built it. We built it on both our backs and yeah, we've been cool ever since. But anyway, so they suggested that I use this wall as a background and so I got a couple of pictures. And yeah, we're gonna go into our second tasting. We actually have two wine tastings. We have just a normal wine tasting and then we're having like an MCC tasting and everything. And then, um, look at and they're literally recording me for like the vlog, the TikTok vlog, which is like so fun. Um, but yeah, so now we're gonna get on to the second tasting. We also had a pizza, which is really, really good. And yeah, I've never seen this place before, and I'm pretty sure I can see mountains from like freaking Paul, like over there, and everything. Paul to Stellenbosch, I think. Um, which is like really cool because those are my ends, my hometowns. Well, Paul, that is still a marsh, not so much. Um, but yeah, we shall carry on with the montage. Oh, and you guys just saw us taking pictures. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say the whole time. <laughs> I can't even see myself because the sun is like <gasps> how beautiful is that we just took some pictures I did not vlog that but like how beautiful is the sun serving honey can't see ah. anyway I just want to show that nothing else 